Hello there. Time to be back for another video. Um, this time we're doing another new topic, still related to selecting and querying, but this time we are doing updating and deleting. This time specifically only updating. Next video we'll, we will be doing deleting, but both of them are pretty much this, similar. Now, um, here we are. Let's open up this kill server management studio. Here we are where we left off last time, where we were doing multiple um, where statements. But here we have their email and their address and their last name and their first name. Let's say um, we got their email wrong. That's not the email. You want to change it to send an email. We need to send an important email, and this thing needs to be changed so that they get the email. What they do, like, they wouldn't completely delete this query and make a completely different one. What they do is they use this simple command, update. Now, uh, this may look complicated once I put in all the code, but it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So, update table. That's the first little part of it. You can see um, update became a little pinkish, uh, pinkish color and table became bluish. Uh, so that's how you know it's actually working. Um, so, let's say we wanted to change email and right now it's arian at gmail.com but we wanted to change it to let's say you know arian123 let's say update tester set now this is where lots of confusion comes in because if you just go let's say um set um email equals rn123 at gmail.com then what's going to happen is every single um, query, every single uh, um, result that has an email, every single um, um, Every single thing will become email. Uh, every single thing, every single email will become rain 123 at gmail.com. Sorry, I had to do something. Okay, so every single email will become rain 123 at gmail.com if you just do this command. Now, how do you fix this, you ask? Well, let's fix it. Now, let's uh, execute this command. Let's execute this command. Uh, currently, I'm just going to select this and then click execute. That means it's only going to execute um, select star from tester. Now, we have lots of emails here, right? All of these will be changed to re123 at gmail.com if I execute this command. Update. Sorry, uh, you're not supposed to put in table. I was confused with the delete. Okay. So this is what happens if you execute this command. See, all the emails are re123 at gmail.com now. I'll fix that later, but let's say uh, we wanted to change Arians to Arian1234. If you would just do that again, every single thing would change to 1234. But what you can do now is you can do where, and then you put in uh, the some unique key so that not two things get changed only one thing gets changed and that's the one that you want to change so let's say where last name 
I don't have a specific ID system or um, any duplicates right now. So this is this works for me. But if you had duplicates and you had a an ID system, then this would probably not work for you and would not be the best way to do this. So let's pretend one of these was ID. Uh, first name is ID. I'm just gonna change. Uh, so now just execute this command and then execute this command. You see everything that's are in one two three, but um, this specific uh, result is one two three four. That's all for updating for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like, um, comment, and subscribe. Ask me if you have any questions, and goodbye.